Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more. Let's play Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp Blind. Hey, I got it right that time. All right, we started playing through the sequel campaign, got through the first two missions last video. Now we're on to mission three, Orange Dawn. Still flighting, still flighting, fack. <laughs> still fighting flack. This time with Max. Two wild animals stand with an ocean between them. Their armies are ready. Let the hostilities begin! Max, you just got compared to Flack and called a wild animal. Are you insulted? Because you probably should be. Dogs. Oh my goodness. It's pretty rich coming from you, swine. You lonely or something? Huh? Well, would you look at that? Like a talking dog. Well, now I've seen everything. A laughing swine. Seal Labrador. More like a bulldog, I think. These are very childish insults. Yeah, let's just blow him up. Alright, calm down, Max. Yes, exactly like Nell says. Mm -hmm. They're really not tricky to handle, Nell. It's actually pretty straightforward. No, I don't. Thank you, Nell. <laughs> Do you need me to explain? No. Come on. Stop it, Nell. <laughs> Oof. She's challenging your manhood again, Max. Mr. Tiny Range. <laughs> She's not stopping. <laughs> yes. yes, let's go. All right. Well, we can start by... Okay, we can shoot down all of his air units on turn one. Perfect. This is basically the same as the first three missions from the first campaign. Teaching the same lessons and everything. Oh, he actually survived that one. Surprising. Okay, so... How has Max changed, if he has? Direct combat units have plus 20 firepower, but his indirect still have minus 1 range and minus 10 firepower. That sounds like it hasn't changed. Max force... Did he get plus 1 movement range before. I don't remember that, though I could just not be remembering correctly. What's well, max blast? Plus 40 firepower, plus 2 movement range. Well, that sounds pretty good. And yeah, let's move in. Hmm. Unless he just charges forward with everything he's got. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do a sneaky rear drop, but... Truly, we have this Chinook for a reason, so... Let's at least set it up. 
I could capture that city, but it seems pointless. There doesn't seem to be a reason to do it. So just wait. Uh. <laughs> okay, Flack. Seriously, this team evil. Well, well, somebody is leaving his headquarters incredibly vulnerable after all. The grief. Let's just set up a choke point then. Usual protocol. Sadly, we don't have ground artillery to reinforce the choke point, but... Our medium tank will hold up well enough, I reckon. This no longer has a reason to exist, so it can just sit there. You get ready for Operation Disrespectful Win. Uh-oh, his CO power just charged. Thankfully, he didn't start his turn with it charged, so... He's not going to use it immediately. He will use it on the next turn, though. I wonder if I should preemptively attack. I think maybe I should. Fighting anywhere on the bridge is still going to be a choke point. There. Having preemptively damaged his units, his uh, CO power won't be as effective. Unless he was smart enough to pull these back and attack with his full power units, but he probably won't be. Cheeky drop strategy wouldn't work yet. Maybe I should have stayed back here and let his guys come farther. I think I kind of made my own strategy not viable because I engaged him too far up. Oh, is he waiting for it to charge all the way? Also, he pulled back for repair. How dare you? Well, this is going exceedingly well for us. I don't think I'm fighting this in a particularly efficient way, but it's working. His power is almost charged up all the way, though. And he got first strike on my medium, which is not what I want. Also, his power is now fully charged. Well, that was pretty pointless. We're gonna need... Mm-hmm. Pretty cutting-edge stuff. Yep. Okay, so it works the way I expected. We're definitely going to use it right now. Roll, tanks, roll. Okay, first thing, take out this medium. Okay, or don't. Secondly, even with max force, I don't think this heavily damaged medium is going to get it done. A full strength light probably won't either. No, not at all. Alright, well... Operation Cheeky drop in progress. I have not fought this battle well at all. Coming up and fighting here was a big mistake. I should have just stayed back here. He idiotically would have charged with everything, and the easy win strategy by capturing his HQ would have worked. 
Instead, I've turned it into a big brawl. Okay, he has his full power, CO power. Ready to go. <laughs> he uses his superpower and then just pulls most of his troops back for uh, for repairs. Oh wow, with that active, even <laughs> troopers can even take out helicopters. That is a strong CO power. He doesn't seem interested in trying to stop this, so it might still work. Well, five versus... Oh, I pulled it back too far. I'm making so many mistakes. I'm making so many mistakes. It's unreal. Well, you might as well repair it then. <laughs> I'm seriously fighting this like a complete idiot. This has been terrible. No, he he wised up. I could lose this. I seriously could lose this tutorial mission. Block. Do something. I, I basically just ended up setting it up to block myself, is what I did. Oh, goodness. Brilliant. Look at him run. Okay, the smart play would have been to use his western tank to stop this, but as it turns out, I win. Whew. That was way closer than it had any right to be. Just doing this for score. And now we win. Because our opponent is an idiot. Hmm. Everyone, if you could just do me a solid and pretend that that didn't happen. Oh, look at that. I lured all his forces all the way to the southeast. And then I flew my dude in and captured his HQ flawlessly. Oh, brilliant win. Brilliant win. Uh huh. Dear Lord. I would say this is middle school, but it's not even that. I mean, we, we've literally only encountered this one guy. So, you're probably correct, but isn't it premature to come to that conclusion? Black, was it? Dumb name for such a tough CO. I do not deserve that S. Way too generous. <laughs>
Well, once again, this would be a very short episode if I called it there. It's only been 15 minutes, so... Oh, it's a branching path, is it? Flak attack. Lash out. Andy's... Wait a minute. Mission 4, 5, 6. That sounds sequential. Interesting. So I assume I can just do all these and I get to just pick the order? Let's just do them in sequential order then. 4, 5, 6. Enemy planes attack from the sea. Can the ground forces repel them? With Max again. Let's go. By the way, I hate to break it to you, Flack, but your your soldiers pretty much look like toys too. <laughs> what was that worm? Yes, sir. what we're all here for the the brilliant and witty dialogue that's quite the air force you've got there uh. gee you think uh. very true Uh, I got this. Oh, go ahead then. Mm hmm. Okay, she's literally just tutorializing me some more. I thought she might really have more strategic advice. Oh, well, this is fine. Yes, we know all about maintaining air superiority. It was key to winning the, uh,. Secret hidden level at the end of the first campaign. Rivals. Yes. Nice one shot. So we're still in tutorial mode here, basically. So my fighter can basically obliterate all this stuff single-handedly. Gonna want to watch out for this anti-air, of course. Actually, it might come to shoot down my bomber. So I should probably block for it. Also, let's move this forward to start shooting stuff down, too. Well... This is one of my least valued... Okay, it can't get far enough to block. Fine, we'll block with an anti-air. I'll capture this just because it's here and that guy has nothing else to do. Maybe I'll leave my choppers where they are. I'll move this one up a little bit. As choppers move in, we can do a massive counterattack with our anti-air. Although I did block with this one. So maybe not with that one. We'll see. Well, that sounds problematic. Uh-huh. 
sure. Know how to pick up a gun? Know how to drive a truck? Just hop in the cockpit. It, it's the exact same principle. You'll do fine. <laughs> oh, even fight. Despite the first strike advantage, I'll take that. No big deal, really. Okay, well this is going to be interesting. Alright, fighter down. Really? Nothing's in range of this? Right, because Max. Because Max. Well, there's nothing left of his other than the uh, ground-based anti-airs that can hurt my bomber. Let's start shooting down, since my fighter can't get at his bombers yet, let's start shooting down some choppers. Nice one shot. Bomber can take care of this anti-air, no problem. I'll save that for next turn. When I can use it with all my units. Or should I use it immediately? Can I get at him with enough choppers to be worth it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah, let's use it right now. You're gonna get hurt. Alright, now. Let's get the first chopper. Now, that does make me vulnerable to his anti air, but. Oh well. Can't fight a war without taking some casualties. So close. Alright, we effectively destroyed three choppers. I know we didn't literally, but these two are so crippled they're useless now. So, I think that was a worthwhile use. Wait a second. What's this? Yep. What the heck is going on? Did I seriously unlock a secret by capturing this city? Really? <laughs> I'm really surprised by what's happening right now. What's this do? Unlock secret hidden maps? So this gives me a reason to try to capture every city in sight, even on maps where you normally wouldn't. This is so cool, <laughs> and I had no clue this was coming. Wow. Well, that's pretty neat. I want to find all of those. I'll try to find them legit on my own, but then after I've done the campaign, I'll check a walkthrough so I can go back and get any I missed. All right, here comes the counterattack. So we're about to get hurt. Though his bombers are going to have trouble getting at any of my ground units. Alright, goodbye chopper squad. Oh, they survived? Wow, good job guys. This one's not going to survive. Oh, never mind. His bomber was able to get us something after all. Oh right, because he destroyed the chopper that was blocking him. Okay, he was able to do a lot of damage on his turn. Well, never mind. Never mind, he got one of his own things destroyed. 
His bombers are a real pain. Okay, the, now I'm back to saying yes, this was an incredibly rough turn for us. Oof. That was brutal, in fact. Okay, his bombers need to go. Let's get his anti-air. And then he'll have nothing that can threaten my bomber. And he already has nothing that can threaten my fighter, or he won't once I destroy this. Which means I'll have all the forces I need to mop up what's left of him with impunity. How dare you survive with one hit point. Heal up here, I guess? My anti-air can't do anything at the moment. And he has a completely unhurt bomber. I should move my anti-air out of its range, because I'd really prefer my anti-air to not get destroyed. I'm still- my mind was kind of blown. <laughs> you have no idea how surprised I was once I started getting special dialogue when I captured this city. <laughs> I didn't think anything was going to happen. Let alone unlocking a secret level. Now I'm wondering if there was anything like that in the first game that I missed. I really should check a walkthrough and see if there were any other secrets I missed. I'll do that at some point. And if it turns out the answer is yes, I'll go back and get the things I missed. Alright, well, as long as it doesn't run out of fuel or ammo, my fighter can mop up what's left here. Because none of it can fight back. With a little help from the anti-air. And I guess the bomber should finish this off. Okay, it's pro forma now. Fighter will kill this, anti-air and or bomber will kill the infantry. Sure. Overkill. Nice. And this should be good game to us. All right, Flack, get out of here. Yeah. Not a scratch anywhere, except for, you know, all, all the men we lost and all the materiel that got destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> My troops eat death for breakfast. <laughs> Say that to all the grieving families back home, Max. <laughs> right. Well, you know, once again, this is, this is a children's video game. We don't treat war with seriousness here. <laughs> oh, little girlfriend. How do you feel about that, Sammy? <laughs> Oh, I think you just got rejected, Max. That's a shame. That's a shame. Sammy's pretty good waifu material. <laughs> Nobody gives Max any respect. I'll defend this country with every muscle I'm made of. Oh, it was not impressed with my technique. 
I think that's our first non-perfect we've gotten. Non-S rank anyways. Here in the sequel. Well, that was a productive session. We got through another couple of missions and we unlocked some kind of secret level. That one, I assume. Okay, no, no, that's not the secret level. I think it said you accessed the secret level from the campaign screen, right? Oh, apparently we're gonna fight a different CO in that one. I'm just curious. I just wanna see where we play the secret level from. I'm probably not gonna do it right away. Hmm. I'm not sure. Well, we'll figure that out later. It's not important right now. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Next time, we're going to be on to mission uh, five. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I will see you then.